So, Moore's Millions Leg 7 then. This one is over the more usual sort of trip. And it's quite a big field. It's not a massive field, in fact. It's four miles in a furlong. It's 0 to 140. Tied Cottage for John Morgan at the top. Barbarella for David Robertson. Zell Stupo for Darren Thompson. Misrepresenting for John Morgan. BRM. James Follis. Sunnyside Up and the Jockey Assassin. Both for Paul Rhodes. Spring Jamaican. Stu Gray. Let Your Mind Martin Leadham. Kisses of Fire. Darren Thompson. Rockin' Robin. Graham Clutterbuck. Great Noise. Kevin Meenhan. Joala Scarlet. Doug Warren. Boredom. Carla Agante. Dunno in all. Darren Howes, Right Stuff Obi Wan, Rustic Rain, Alex Cherry, Street Juala, Doug Warren, Zacrete, Stu Gray, Kiki Rosberg, James Follis, Latterly Iota, Darren Howes, Marie Antoinette, Kevin Minahan, Black Sand Fading, Molly at Surfer, Obligato, Tam King, Miserat, Obi Wan, and Ek here, Alex Cherry, 26 then. In this, over four miles and a furlong. I think it might be the longest race of the week, so we've probably got all the national horses in this. And we're getting an aerial sweep of the track. There's a lot of things that Stu likes to comment on. Looks like we're probably still at Punch's I don't know where we are this season. It's all over the place. Really, it's commentating. We sort of know what we all keep doing each other's races and all sorts. Anyway, off we go. And the big field heads towards the first of the fences. 21 of them then, not that many to jump over four miles, and plenty of running to be done as they take the first, and there'll be plenty of pull-ups in this I should think as well, and possibly even a few fallers as they come past the stand, and they come past another couple of times yet at least, maybe even three actually, I think they've got three more circuits to go, maybe two, I'm not 100% sure how big punch town is, but 15 furlongs maybe, Anyway, we'll soon find out, and great noises in front from misrepresenting in second. Marie Antoinette is third, and Tide Cottage is fourth. we come down to the second. Oh, we'll skip over that one. Nicely enough with Boredom, the back marker. Just about got them all in shot. They're pretty well spread out already. Big field, though, and great noise comes into this ditch in front. See them all over. Something's gone now. There's something out. Kisses of fire's gone. So that's one fall up. Some jockey being propelled into the air. And great noise leads. We're misrepresented in second. Tide Cottage is third. Zacrete is in fourth. That one's been around a long time. Then Marie Antoinette, Meserat, and Obligato. Sunny side up. And then right stuff. Latterly Iota is next. Then the jockey assassin. Juala Scarlet, the first of Doug's horses, the second of Doug's is Street Juala. That one's even wider on the track as they take number four. Over that one they go looking towards the back of the field to see what's out the back. Boredom is just about the back market with Keki Rosberg. They're both capable of running big races. And there's a long way to go yet. Still got over three miles to go. And great noise by length to misrepresenting in second. A creep third, Meserat four, Tide Cottage five. After that, sunny side up, Marie Antoinette. If they take the fifth, we'll stream over that. We've lost something else there. Street Joala has gone. Well, that's one of Doug's out. Oh, he's pretty excited about his long distance horses this year. Some good staying chases that he's bred. Looking forward to seeing them. Running and having some runners in the Grand National that he's bred himself. But I'm hoping that that one jumps a bit better if it gets to Aintree. What's the good thing about it is it won't get any weight, but will it if it keeps falling over? Something else has gone now as well. That's Rocking Robin. So, the Rocking Robin, not rocking anymore today. And great noise continues to lead from the Creek. Oh, I think he's a pretty old horse. He's certainly been around for a few seasons. He runs some good big races. Tell he's been around a long time because he's got Stu Gray's really old colours. That sort of pale white grey sort of colour. There's great noise in front as a creek second. And the Morgan pair misrepresented in Tide Cottage. Meserat is next, then Marie Antoinette. Sunny side up is after that one. And right stuff. Obligato, the obligatory grey for Tam King. He seems to have grey horses in his stable. Then after that one is the Jockey Assassin, BRM is on the outside, Black Sand Fading and Joala Scarlet are there as well. 
Barbarella the Grey just heading that next little group. And let your mind wide on the outside in the back three are Kiki Rosberg, Spring Jamaican and Boredom as they take that one. Let your mind wide on a stake. Came second or third in the Grand National last year and also was placed in the final of this. So I expect that one to be running a little bit better, jumping a bit better. It's not been brilliant today. The mistake there by the second of the John Morgan horses, Tide Cottage. Uh, there's a Crete has now gone to the lead. As I said, old enough to remember Tide Cottage in a really big race. I which one it was now, but falling up the last one at the race. Totally at his mercy as they jumped that. That was a real Tide Cottage, of course, back in the early 70s in the days of Red Rump. And the creep is the leader. Oh, misrepresenting in great noise. They come up past the stand. No one in post now. Only got one more circuit to go. And it's the creep in front from misrepresenting second. In great noise is third. Tide Cottage is four. Marie Antoinette is five. Then Misera, Sunny Side up. And then Right Stuff, Black Sand Fading after that. Then BRM on the wide outside. Obligato's got the inside rail. They take that one latter the Iota. Then a four at the back there. Spring Jamaican's gone. So Spring Jamaican. Jockey's found himself sprung into the air. And out of the race as they take the 13th. over that one we've lost four so far and Zacrete in the lead so Stu Gray Spring Jamaican might be out of it but Zacrete is still in front and Great Noise is second and mis misrepresenting Marie Antoinette is also close up Kevin Meenham looks like he's got some decent stayers this year as well Meserat on the outside and the gap back to Sunny side up and then BRM and right stuff Obligato Black Sand Fading is between them and latterly Iota Jockey Assassins just drop back a little bit as they take the next one. And Rustic Rain is after that. Stable Companion Ick here chasing. And the Grey Barbarella's lost her place as well. Let your mind after that one. And then Boredom and uh, Joala Scarlet. Dunno in all is nowhere to be seen. And Kiki Rosberg has been pulled up. So Kiki Rosberg is out of it. And I would think that Dunno in all is probably going to go that way as well because he doesn't appear to be in shot at the moment. Kiki Rosberg's running some funny races this season. I'm sure that won a big race a couple of weeks ago at part of Beecher, I think, and then rather fell or pulled up the week after, and then pulled up again today. So, all over the 15th, and the creek still the leader. From Great Noise, represent, misrepresented on the outside. Meserat and then Tide Cottage, Marie Antoinette still there, so sunny side up, normally Gato. Don't know, it all has indeed been pulled up now. As they come down to the 16th, as the creek skips over it in front. From in second place, great noise. Let your mind made another mistake and is now last. Probably looks like that one's beaten as well, but great noise is just about in front from the creek in second. Misrepresenting his third, then Meserat is four and Tide Cottage is five as they come down to this ditch. This is always oh, all oh, crashing out. There's a load of fallers there. Tide Cottage is gone. Misrepresenting is gone. Meserat's gone. Well, what a fence that was. Three of them down at once. And Zacrete is in the lead from Great Noise in second. Then Sunny Side up, Marie Antoinette, Latterly Iota, BRM. Then comes Obligato, the jockey assassin, Zell Stupo has crept into it. Who noticed that one before? Let Your Mind is now starting to get into it on the outside as well. As they take the 18th, and over that one they go. And the ones that are left in it have jumped it okay. And Zacrete is the leader by a length to Great Noise in second. Jockey assassin is third. Then Black Sand Fade in his four, and Sunny Side up is five. Marie Antoinette is next. Let Your Mind is starting to move up on the outside. Zell Stupo and BRM are there as well. This is the third from home, and Zacrete takes it in the lead from Great Noise and the Jockey Assassin. Then Sunny Side Up, then Marie Antoinette, Black Sun Fading, Zell Stupo, and Let Your Mind. They're being chased by Latterly Iota. And there's two to go, and Zacrete and Great Noise still disputing the lead. The Jockey Assassin sits quietly on their outside as they come to the second last. Over that one, it's virtually three in a line. The Jockey Assassin just beginning to power into the lead. The Jockey Assassin now by a neck, coming down towards the final fence in the Moors Millions Leg 7. It's Jockey Assassin by half a length to Great Noise. Zacrete, sunny side up, is now trying to close as well. Marie Antoinette is still there, down towards the final fence they go. And now, Zacrete gets back into the lead 
again. The Croup from Great Noise, Jockey Assassin, Marie Antoinette is next, then Sunny Side Up, but it's old The Croup, and The Croup goes into the final third, and he's two lengths clear. The Croup from Marie Antoinette and Great Noise, The Croup, this is going to be a major win. Up towards the line, it's going to be The Croup, the old man of the field, I think he's knocking on this one. He's up towards the line, he's winning this easily by a good four lengths in the end. The Croup takes it, Marie Antoinette second, then Great Noise, Sunny Side Up, lots of the iota was after that one. Eck here was another one who unseated his rider towards the end with an action pack race and the creek takes it for Stu Gray. It's only nine, but it seems like it's been around forever. Marie Antoinette second for Kevin Meenan. Kevin Meenan third as well with great noise. Sunny side up for Paul Robes was fourth. And we'll find out who's fifth in a minute when the card stops dancing. If it stops dancing, oh, it doesn't look like it's going to. Yes, it is. And the fifth placed horse was... Latterly, Iota for Darren Owls. That's it for me this week. Still take you through the rest of the races this week, I think.